Still in Oshun State, the Health Insurance Agency says no efforts will be spared towards ensuring residents have access to improved and quality health care at little or no cost. Executive Secretary of the Agency, Niyo Gini, was speaking at the inaugural and relief forum for vulnerable population in Oshun West Sanitary District. There is more in this report. It's the second phase of the State Health Insurance Agency Release Forum. This time around, it's for the vulnerable sector who are covered by the Basic Health Care Provision Fund of the federal government and the Equity Fund of the state government. And release of this scheme from the 10 local governments that make up Ocean West Senatorial Districts are here to be enlightened on the benefit package under the scheme. This is because some of them have been shortchanged or deprived of their rights. It's also an avenue for the enrollees to tell the agency where improvements are required in the services being rendered. Executive Secretary of the State Health Insurance Agency, Niyo Gini, says the agency is ready to serve the enrollees better. Have they been to our hospitals? Are the hospitals doing what they are supposed to be doing? Are they being shortchanged? Are they not being treated very well? We want to hear a feedback from our enrollees. It is a part of our grievance redress mechanism. It's a way of also improvement of, on our quality of service that we are giving to our enrollees. Anybody that does not know his rights may invariably sleep on his rights. They have the opportunity which is at their fingertips. But people can easily deny them of that opportunity if care is not taken. He promised that the agency will investigate healthcare providers found culpable of shortchanging and release and sanction them appropriately. We also place fines on, you know, facilities that have shortchanged our, you know, enrollees. And when they have collected monies from our enrollees and we investigate, we tell them to return the money with apology. So these are the steps that we have taken so far. In the two years and some months of our operations, we have placed sanctions on people. We have delisted some, we have had some to pay money back. Participants are happy with the initiative. I really appreciate all this program because it's what we're looking for in this country. It's improved our country more than before.